Hello and welcome to Zach103 TV. Today we're racing at Papyrus Motorsports Park and this is our round of 12 race one of three for the second round of the playoffs. Last week was Iowa. We had four drivers uh, get eliminated, one of which being our season points champion who has never won a race, uh, Shred in the 73. The other three eliminators were did not have any, were actually... Um, yeah, they did not have any wins, but they have all had solid seasons nonetheless. Messi specifically, but um, Santa Messi got eliminated, has had a solid season of wins to show. LJ Toledo, uh, no surprise there after that terrible show of whatever that was, Richmond, and then Aztec Lovett just did not have the speed to match these other guys. Um, and other than that, Patatana starting pole. Uh, actually, three of the four Don Patrol Motorsports cars, actually starting in the top uh, ten, almost in the top five, hasn't worked for Cap Kefferman, but that would mean two of the four Roach Racing cars starting in the top ten, one of which, uh, not of these in the playoffs, but Roach Racing, some Dan's in the playoffs. He's starting a little bit further back, about mid-pack. But this is Papyrus. You can kind of move your way through the pack. Also, no Clifton starting second. Uh, he is, him and Batatna are, be dead honest, I'm, they're fighting for last car in the season standings for drivers that have been in the season all year. Uh, Cap Kaeperman won at Richmond, so he's looking to get his second career win, and he sees some few other guys as well. Um, we got Dark X Rain with us today. Um, you got any first thoughts? Yeah, first on, and our first ever player driver going to be starting on row number five. Which I believe is uh Thunder twenty four fan. Yep, Thunder twenty four fan. And then we have in row number seven. I think that's what the number twenty two. Yep, that's uh Space Guide. Yep, Space Guy. Basically it's papyrus after all. Everyone can make it through and I'm gonna see who's the player draw that's qualifying last at the moment. Yeah, Nimrod did not come in clutch for qualify. Rex Cooper. I think they zigzag Goon as well is also on the back. Nimrod. And I see... Someone's in the black card with the... I don't think what type of sponsor it is. Ben Line? Uh, the black... Yeah, the 97 of... Uh, Tyler Sustray. So we already got a few drivers in the back here. As this playoff start, um, the four drivers below the cut line are Rubin Gonzalez. I know it's surprising, but seeing how everything resets to zero, uh, he's currently on the top, the uh, starting last. And then Sustre, Zigzagoon, and Nimrod. So we'll see how that goes. And also, uh, Rubin Gonzalez, no wins this season. So um, despite his success and almost winning Richmond, uh, no wins yet for him. Sustre with one, Zigzagoon with two. Nimrod with one. Yep, is race is race one, round of twelve, fresh start. Said he gotta do it for Pyrus. Motor Speedway. Well Motorsports Park got to say. Yeah, and uh, also we don't ha hopefully we don't have any crashes. Now I'm gonna implement something new, so uh we started this last week in the NC or, or the Cup series. Uh if they start wrecking too much, we'll give them two uh attempts to get a start going. Can't get her going. The remainder of the race will be single file restarts. Mainly just because racing, it's not an issue with the racing, it's the issues with uh, cars getting too close to each other on an initial start. So, once we get all that figured out, they should be good racing from there. And hopefully we don't have that issue. We can just go green and uh, hopefully not have any yellows, but if we do, hopefully it doesn't affect too much. And uh, the playoff drivers are hopefully able to do what they can. Yep, and we're here a few, I guess you say a few seconds away for the command of the famous words in motorsports. Drivers, start your engines! Command's been given. One more thing I want to point out, uh, Frank Chilton. Um, he has a win this season, I believe, at uh, Chicago Land, if, I rem if my memory serves me correct. He is starting mid-pack today. He got uh, on the Sox. I know that series wasn't taken too seriously, but... He ended up winning here in Sox, so he's one to watch as he's also a playoff driver. Came in clutch and was able to make the round of eight. Um, we'll see how he does. 
so he definitely got some experience at this track. Yep. As a driver, though. That might pay enough. Driver, though, not so much. In fact, the entire top ten, I think, is rookies except for Melinda Jones. This field's jam-packed with rookies, but uh, we'll figure it out next year and uh, see what happens. I guess next year will be the year of the rookies. Yep. If this keeps up. All right, the base car pulls off. We wait for the flag man. And we are green at Papyrus Motorsports Park. Yep. And Batana. Batana, yes. Now, one thing to note, oh, yeah. it is almost imminent that a uh, rookie wins the championship at this point, seeing how many there are. But we'll see what happens. Still a lot of racing to go. Well, gotta say, a good start by Batona as Riley Gorse goes towards the bottom. But he leaves the lower lane. Never run from no Clifton behind that. In the one car for Wild Wolf Motorsports. Oh boy. This may not work for Batona. Does not. Get into the wall. Later checks up. 66. And Marker Leonard in the 66 for Roach Racing. Gonna try to get around on the top here. He does have a good lane on the high lane, but he ah. also gets into the wall, but we'll it's not if, too badly. Yeah, draft on the top, though, with uh, no Clifton. We'll see how this uh, final corner goes. As a, I think we might be Maybe under yellow uh, to start this. Seeing some we'll lights. See, are we under yellow? We could, we might be. We'll see. As Ooh, 6 6 will lead us to potentially the yellow flag. No, actually, uh, we'll see. So, yes, the yellow flag is out. Yep. Uh, let's see. I can't think of any. Let's see who read off the caution. Uh, I'm not... This could be a big indicator for those guys in the back that are fighting for the playoff spot. Oh, yeah, big crash. Uh, looks like the Ooh. 17. It is. I'm not, seeing any play I'm not seeing any playoff drivers right now, but we'll see where and what happened. Looks like Potato Boy is close to this, so is some Dan. And a lot of those cars in the back that did not get a great starting position. I think somebody went three wide. And yeah, Jet 07 went three wide. Not the greatest All divide right. is. Same Dan. I look at that Moko car. Yeah, some Dan, him getting involved would be pretty bad. Again, this is only the first race, but it'll definitely make it a lot harder for you to make it to the next round if you don't. Oh, four wide there. Let's go helicopter. So, get a good I think it happened behind them, Dan. No, nah, it hasn't happened in front of them. Uh, let's see. The question is oh. where? Oh, my gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, so it was the number... Ran out of racetrack. Okay, number 17. Byron Webb, hard crash yeah, right in front of Jeremy Frey, oh. Some Dan. Oh, he was airborne. Some Dan so involved. Some Dan Frank in Chilton it. barely avoids it. Oh, wow. Potato Boy with a little bit of front end damage as well. But Some Dan, this is going to really hurt him. Um, he's but done like for the day. Five cars in it, because I don't see anyone else involved. We yeah, have the I 99, think... we have the 3. The Bush. 48, I believe, missed it. But, ooh, the 54 is sideways. Yeah, so uh, I think he does have else... rear damage. Other than that, I don't think it cook out a whole lot of cars. Um, I wish cars had to slow oh. down. Frank had to slow down because of the wreck. I don't think he has any damage, but... uh. Yeah, that wreck was pretty big. I, the only playoff drivers I think it took was uh, Some Dan and Tata Boy. They barely made it in the playoffs. So they're going to have to uh, come and clutch Homestead, uh, specifically Some Dan, because he is done for the day. But Tata Boy is still in it. He just had some damage. So he may be able to get some on his competition. Um, at this rate, we're going to give it another shot with the double file starts. Uh, Marco Leonard with the lead right now, but Tottenham second. We're going to go green, not this time, but next time around. And that way, hopefully, we don't have a cottage fist. But if they are not able to... What part of the track are they on right now? Oh, that's turn one. All right, so we can just go green this time. Yep, and, yep in turn number one. And it looks like... I think the guys in the bag gained a couple of spots. I think Nimrod gained a little bit. And I think somebody else as well. Wouldn't take much for Nimrod to gain much. She was already dead last. Now's already 
I think, ten spots on that start. A little more than that, probably. Oh, so she is ahead of Zigzagoon, who is also in the playoffs as well. Yep. So, uh, so they're slowly making to this. Yep. So currently only uh, one playoff guy out of the race, and that is a 63 of some Dan, who uh, was able to come and clutch, win two races in a row. The... Uh, Last two races of the regular season, but yeah, only three cars out of the race. 93 is a lap down. He will not get that back, but that's some Dan, Brian Webb, or Brian Webb, and uh, Jeremy Frey. This will put Brian Webb Wait. closer to the last car uh, battle, but a uh, terrible crash Wait. there. Oh, yeah, because he, because someone did win Airborne. 17 when Airborne, yeah, that was definitely going to be something for the screenshots post race, but, um, we're going to give them another shot here if they are not able to go one lap here. It's going to be uh, another restart. That second restart is going to be single file. And uh, should be good from there. And hopefully we're good from here. That might have just been a fluke crash with the 17. But anyway, Marker Leonard leading the race for road tracing. We are just talking about road tracing okay. before the broadcast. Uh, they have three wins this season as a team, which is pretty good considering... All that they've uh, kind of been going through with the cup season not going so well. They did get a win in the cup series so far this year, but Roach is definitely on his worst CCS season in the cup series. I like it. Yeah, can't have it done on a jump off the restart, though. Yeah, we'll have to it watch this 70. We'll have to watch this 71 here. He has to make sure there is no car length in between. There's no, uh, there's no car length gap between him and the 66 ahead. Of the 66, but uh, you know what? Some Dan may come and clutch here because the top six are not in the playoffs. Uh, if we get some of these playoff guys not to finish so well, some Dan may be able to, you know, have something to show for this race. And Potato Boy as well, he's got damage. I don't know if it's going to hurt him or not, but we'll see. I yes. guess with this type of ride, I mean, with type of track, I don't think the the damage policy may have to go through with this race. I think you're correct. We will not need to use the damage you have across policy for this and track. I think we'll have, what, seven laps to go? As we run to the line with the restart. Restart's clean. And uh, this is their final Perfect. attempt on double file starts. If they are not able to get it done this time, it's single file next time around. Or next time, next restart. If they are not able to go one lap with a double file start. Ooh, Marker got a nice little... Little nice jump. And I put their uh, Roach Racing trying to get together with Capper Capperman. Kappa won at uh, Richmond. Ro and uh, uh, Marker Leonard trying to win here at Papyrus. Little Copper Copper. A spectator real so quick. Far, so good. Just to make sure everything is good. So far we're green flag. I think they're able to go through their clean. We'll see if they're able to go through the rest of the track clean. This is... Wonderful. Hmm. Yep, still green. A little bit of kick to the wall. Not too bad. We are still green here at uh, Pirates. If we'll make it through this next lap, we will call this good, and we'll keep our double follow restarts if we need them. Also, i uh, going to go tab out real quick, uh, just in case we have an overtime. Or need for one Just anyway. in case we need in the pocket. So far, so good, though. Tana back up to second. Ooh. Roach Racing versus Don Patrol Motorsports right now. It's looking like with a mix of Wild Wolf Motorsports as well. Oh yeah, those are some strong cars. Battling Monster for the... is hauling right now, taking third place away. Essex love it. Got eliminated last week. Didn't quite have the speed. Trying to get a good run here today. This top lane just ain't it though. Coming into turn two. He's gonna hit the wall. Oh, the right in the 72. Of the car. He's gonna lose a ton His of spots. His does not into the wall. He's gonna lose a He's ton gonna lose of a spots. lot of spots. And I think 24 fan is the top playoff driver at the moment. Yep. Uh, we, he almost got eliminated last week too. So this is pretty big confidence for that uh, 83 car. And we are under yellow. Um, race to the line. 22 was in the top uh, playoff car. A bummer caution again. Yep. We'll uh, see what happened this time. If it was, uh, we'll see who's involved, but yeah, the 22 is able to come and clutch again, but 66 appears to be the quickest right now as they cross the line to the yellow. 
We'll see what happens. Give Looks the like, uh, Let's see. 55 was involved. Oh. He was involved Ryan... in First Strike as well. What happened to him? What's going to happen to Ryan Cole? Oh, he, he got the involved with his that's, his... that's his team owner right there in the 54. That's going to be a manual a DNF for both these guys. Um, yeah, that actually... is more... Yeah, it started before this, but uh, they both were involved in that first wreck. Come on, let me get a helicopter. Right. So. so let's start with the 21 Epox. Again, just con play after ever involved. And that's one on one of Moon Man, I think. Yeah, Moon Man was involved. Oh. Zigzagoon. Oh, this is a big one. Frank Chilton. Oh, it does help. Frank Chilton was involved. Saber Fox. Nimrod barely evaded. Um, see, so. this may be a penalty. Oh, this started way before that. This is going to be yeah, a very, a uh, technical aspect, because this is pretty much the big one. Um, let's oh, see, we bagged it up. ran out of racetrack oh. with Azrael Dreamer. Yeah, I can't pin Dreamer on that, because the set, the 37 just kept coming up to the wall right there. Yeah, because he squeezed the 70 into the wall. Jimmy stars in and then... I work for Pox, Everyone Moon Man, pretty much slowed down. 06, 46, Zig -Zig 57, 99, got involved in another one. Poor Frank Chilton, Monaco, oh, Cooper, Gonzalez, he's in it. That's about it. Massive wreck. I think Nimrod didn't get end up getting in, catched into that. No, no, she's still in it. So, um, we're yellow now. So, so this is basically our... I'm going to just say this is a racing accident. It was definitely Two a racing accident. The, the same space. Ah, 637 just got tight there and nowhere to go. But, uh, uh yeah, so that took out a ton of playoff drivers. So that, this is pretty good for pretty much everyone that's out of the race. So, um, confirmed out is now uh, the 55, 54, 48, and then the 06 of Zig Zagoon playoff driver out. Moon Man's out, but Potato Whoa. Boy is still in. And damage vehicle policy will not be enabled since the road course. So currently only two playoff drivers out of the race. That's 63 and 06. They'll have something to... Yeah. We'll have to come and clutch next week at Homestead. And at yeah, Pocono. Really so like... just the race one, but the, you know, definitely don't want to be wrecking out in the first race, the playoffs. 93 yeah, is going to get the free pass. You got to love the wave around. That's... You got to love it. With basically six laps to go. He's got a lot of damage too, but it's oh, something to show for his race. <laughs> so he will get the lead lap. That is pretty cool to see the wave around working into effect. So he will make something out of it. But so far, is that the only... Actually, one of the quarter in the playoffs is in a good spot. He's in the top ten, and that will be Space Guy. I believe they're the number 22, right? Yep, Space Guy in the 22. So at the moment, I think... I don't know if Space Guy is the only guy that's in playoffs that's still racing, or... Oh, there's still a lot of guys in playoffs still racing. It's just only two of them are out of the race, and a lot of them got involved in that wreck. So Frank Shilton, I don't think, is going to win this race, but... He's looking all right, but Space Guy, highest running playoff car in sixth, and then second to him would be uh, 124 fan uh, just outside the top ten. And you got Brock Nelson yep. close behind that as well. So Brock Nelson trying to come and clutch uh, with his seven DNFs this season. Get something to show for his season. That 51 Red Bull Ford. We'll see what happens. So that's the stands now. The So the guys that are in the position will be the guys that are in the standings in the playoffs. Yep. So Marker but Leonard. For the win, it looked like Marker Leonard. Let's see what happens. Uh, Had a good pass and uh, was able to pull away on one of those uh, less restart. But uh, him, yeah, about the, the top four has kind of stayed the same all race. But behind that, we're kind of, I say. But, um, we'll see what happens. Yeah, a little, bit of, little bit of swap going on. Yep. on. Yep. This is going to be one interesting. So we will be restarting with six laps to go. Yep. And overtime it's is on. So if we get a crash with two to go, that's extra laps out there for Marker Leonard to lead for his season. We got. You got two roach racing cars on the bottom. Looking good. 
couple Chevys on the top, not affiliated. Dom Patrol Motorsports, and then Wild Wolf Motorsports, and the one car of Clifton, who was able to come and clutch and qualify. And so far in the race, we'll see what happens for those uh, that team, the one car. So Sorry. Mark Liveman, I believe, will quench the most lead lap left. As for the biggest movers, I really don't know. That's something I don't really moment. pick as a stat, but if someone else wants to pick out the HTML and figure that out, by all means. All right, I would if I could. And back wolf. I'm gonna say five laps ago. All right, boys. Still, we get some green fire racing side. here. The drag oh. racing into those corners. Ooh, what it's a nice. It's getting race. It's getting late in the race. Though. They're already going three, four wide in the back. Oh boy, this is getting dangerous. These guys are getting very feisty. As monster into the, I want to say the buy side. Yeah, thought better going four wide, wide. but I don't think we're oh, safe okay. yet. They could still wreck. One and car's I think in the wall. we're still green at the moment. Yeah, I think the back is more of an issue, but there's out the front. And they're like Spaceman at the moment. He looks like he's currently battling for fifth, I think. And we are now under yellow <laughs> again. That's infuriating. <laughs> we're going to come to the yellow again. And we're likely going to have so. overtime here. So at this point, the 66 has clinched the race, I think. But we'll see. 22 space guys has been able to come up to fourth now. So you might have a green white checkered. Likely so. And and let's see. Oh, that's space car. I'll see. Oh, uh, I'm rushing down now. Okay. 93, <laughs> who uh, was able to get his lap back, is uh, probably was also involved in that crash, and Nimrod was also involved, it looks like. The 29. Uh, where is it? Let's see. Yeah. Let's see who calls caution number three. As we look at Nimrod, there's Mephi Hill at the top. Who is spotting the Jacksonville Jaguars? All right, I'll see that. All right, so seeing they're still having issues, I'm going to go ahead and give them a single file start here for this last, probably last one. Seeing they can't get their okay. stuff together. Now, I knew four wide was going to happen back here, but they seem to have made it work briefly. So this must have happened... Go and see, the 75 goes into the wall. It's a bit loose. Oh. Yeah. I see what happened. So the 11 get into Jimmy Starr, then bounce off Nimrod. The Nimrod bounce off Matthew Hill, then it was on from there. Not too far much damage. Gonzalez involved. Chilton involved. I think Vink. Messi. So the 11 is Vink's right? Fox. But I think there's more. No, I think that's it. Just Freeze, Jimmy, uh, Fox, and a few others. I think Nimrod's done, but this really hurt a lot of playoff guys. So a lot of the playoff guys just not having a good race. But the only one I think, the only two I really think are just, the only two are having a decent race, and that's the 83 and the 22. Base guy has definitely gained a lot of spots in a little amount of laps. He has. Um, so, I believe he started what the top 15, and now he's in. Currently fourth. Yeah, so we are not going to have uh, any more single or double file restarts. Saying they kept it together for the first few laps, but they can't now. So. Yep. So it is confirmed that marker Lin marker have let the lead more laps. Single file restarts. Yep. Uh, I don't know where they're on the track though. Oh, that, that makes sense. Yeah. Yep. Then right now goes a lap down. We're going to agree next time. Here. So who gets the wave around? Might be nobody. <laughs> Seeing no one was lapped down when the caution came out. So let's see. So a green, white, checker. I think someone was lapped down before. I don't know who. No, nah, everyone was on the lead lap, I think. Now, there might have been some guys go lap down or yellow, but... Yeah, no one went a lap down... It okay. uh, looks like so Nimrod's done, but fire. yeah, no one went a lap down. 87. Okay, done. Nimrod is. Yeah, so it's yep. gonna be lengthy retire list. A lot of playoff guys, so I think that that's gonna be. This is just gonna be one to put behind him for those guys, but we'll see what happens. Or not. 
So, an extra lap added for the overtime. This final restart, uh, supposed final restart, will be single file. It's breakfast, but uh, oh well, it's only 11 laps. Can't really get much out of it. Short one. 11 laps, and now we sit in a down to. It looks like it's been standing by one lap. They've ran two. Green. I think they've ran a couple green flag laps here and there. Or, yeah, a couple so far. Not very great, but yeah. we'll see what happens. 66 has led most of it. Someone will have to come and clutch uh, somewhere, otherwise, uh, it's really looking pretty good for the win. One well, thing about Papyrus is it's not good for rookies, but some of them they are. Well, so far, the entire top five six entire top six is rookies so it's looking promising hmm. i just yeah, remember non-rookie the... is uh melinda jones the 58 sprite car again they're really gonna go single file here because they can't figure out how to drive so yeah 58 is gonna be uh running seventh right now I'm just talking about a highest running non Rookie, Thunder 24 fan is also not a rookie. Behind that, another laundry list. Uh, Kaden Williams didn't really count as a rookie since he raced in the Cup Series uh, the past two seasons. Decided to dip down. That's zero. See how he does. So far, it's not looking too great, but we'll see what he does yeah. next year. There may be one driver I'm going to be looking at is going to be Space Guy. Since he's seeming to be gaining the most spots. I don't know one of our biggest movers, or he's one of our fastest movers. Under these cautions. So I think he's going to be a factor. But can Mark Lindgren hold on? We have the one lap dash pass. It's going to be a two, two lap shootout unless they get another caution. Oh yeah. The Taunt now looking for their first career top five right now that's another big thing to watch is they're now green and it's already shuffling already at the now battle for a second 71 quickly charging around the, si the one car man space guy he's definitely looking for top at least at least for the top as they're now battling for third fourth and fifth yeah, now gonna be battle for a second we're coming to this next corner. I don't think the line he's in is going to be a very advantageous, but we'll see what happens nonetheless. The Tottenham. Ooh, what looking for their first oh, career like top five. Currently in second. Or third, Let's actually. Think, yeah, no, second. Yep, second. 22 is going to try. Mm -hmm. Oh, he gets up the track a lot there. He'll able to keep it. Yeah, gonna, oh, he hits the wall. He hit the wall. Just He's going to lose some just... spots. But Space Guy in the 22 as we come to the white flag. Oh, wow. It is a nice run by Space Guy as Patana did kiss the wall a little bit. As I don't know if third. they have enough run. That 66 is gone. I'll also check his ratings. <laughs> oh, he's definitely pulling away. Yeah, he We're not got the white flag. I'm going to check his ratings. <laughs> We're catching him now oh, a little bit. I just, don't know if it's enough, I just don't know if it's enough time. 22 has got to run. 72 behind him. Victor Nunez has claimed the fifth spot. Well, I don't think it's over yet. They got a couple of more turns left to go. Uh, 22 didn't enter high enough. Or he entered too high. It's gonna have if to anyone end. gets around him, oh yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get another thing going unless the 72 is able to go. And he does. Uh, 72 does come in clutch. <laughs> But he's just too much far, far, too far back from the 66 of Marker Leonard. And Marker's just got a few Man. corners left now. No one's got anything for him. He does kiss the wall a little bit, so it's going to slow him down. Base guy in but third. I'm... Yep, as he falls third. Marker has one more, I think one more turn to go. Coming off the final corner. And Marker Leonard. Is going to win here at Papyrus Motorsports Park. Yeah, basically, the perfect race for Mark. Well, almost the perfect race for Mark Linderman. Yeah, I'll have to check his ratings. Win's going to stand because it'd be weird because if, if the ratings went away, it'd be on me. But 
Yep, Unfortunately, though, but Tottenham, despite being top five all day, was not able to get that first crew top five. We'll have to wait. That wall hit. Get another top ten. Well, it's right. our third top ten of the season. Uh, two of the uh, three, four Don Patrol Motorsports cars to get top ten. We'll also look at those uh, playoff guys that did not finish because those will be the last playoff cars in order of finishing. Or, well, in order of how they finished their round of 16 anyway. But Marco Leonard oh, won. Yeah. Aztec Lovett, despite getting eliminated from round of 16, is able to come back at second. Space Guy looking good for the round of 12 right now. Highest current your playoff leader right now. 8-3 of us. Uh, 124 fan right behind that. We won't go too far into that because uh, a lot of guys did finish. But let's talk about the guys who didn't finish. The 87 of... Well, we'll tell me now, but uh, I know the 87 on down did not finish. So the 87 of Sabre Fox, double zero of Rubina Gonzalez, 29 of Renimrod, the four of Frank Chilton, 37 of Genghis Khan, 06 of Zig Zagoon, and Sumdan. So half of the playoffs did not finish this race. So this gives a huge advantage to anyone who finished this race. Anyone who didn't isn't looking so great. Or, well, they're looking all right, but not too horribly great. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Next week is Homestead. Uh, 324 fan. I remember he started pull there, but the winner of that race, I believe, was... Uh, um, shoot, I cannot remember. But uh, we'll see who wins uh, this time around. Uh, for me... Or Dark, you got any last thoughts? That was pretty much a perfect race for, uh, what is his name again? Uh, Mark or Leonard. Yeah, perfect work for Mark Leonard, man. As you said earlier, the top, I guess you said the top eight other guys that stayed, that did not involve in the wreck. Well, those guys that are definitely got retired in the, you know, live in front of, front of the side of the race. They got a lot of work to do doing homestead. Yep. So if they finish perfectly, they can change their destiny. If not, that may be a chance to be eliminated. Yep. So let's uh, see that. Uh, we'll see y'all next week at Homestead. Uh, Second race around a 12. For me, Dark X Rain, this is the NCCRS. We'll see y'all next race.